Good morning, students. In the last class, I started a chapter called "Dual Nature of Radiation and Matter," and uh, I was telling about the first concept that is electron emission, electron emission, and types of electron emission. Electron emission means it is the process of emission of electrons from a metal surface, and in that there are three types are there. One is uh, photoelectric emission field emission thermionic emission so today i want to tell you in detail about the photoelectric emission the third type of electron emission <coughs> what is photoelectric emission or photoelectric effect it is the process of emission of electrons from a metal surface when a light of suitable frequency falls on the metal surface when a light of particular frequency is falling on the metal surface then that metal gives out the electrons that from the metal electrons are ejected out from the metal electrons are emitted out this phenomenon is called photoelectric effect or photoelectric emission and uh, see that particular frequency what i am mentioning it emits a metal surface emits electrons for a light of particular frequency that particular frequency is called threshold frequency threshold frequency threshold frequency means it is the minimum minimum frequency of the incident radiation ivu yav line na kalistirala yav line adana bandu kidutte adanna enu karithara incident radiation antu karithara so the frequency of the incident radiation for below which there is no photo emission aa one frequency ginta kadime value iruvantaha frequency light na use madidre kadime value iruvanta kadime frequency iruvanta light na enadru na metal mele hakidre photo emission agangilla electrons galu horagade barangilla so therefore we call this as the minimum frequency of the incident radiation below which there is no photo emission that is called threshold frequency adane enu karidara threshold frequency an ee one effect enu karidara photoelectric effect an karidara nee photoelectric emission anta manabodu photoelectric effect anta karibodu and the electrons emitted in the photoelectric effect they are called they are called photoelectric emission photoelectrons avgal enu karidara photo electrons antu karidara ee effect enu karidara photo electric effect antu karidara see in uh, photo electric effect there are uh, see scientist hertz lenard halbach and one the scientist in madidru for the first time they gave their observations their opinions about photo electric effect remember hertz enrich hertz hertz was the first scientist to discover about the photoelectric effect the concept the phenomenon of photoelectric effect it was uh, it was first time discovered by the scientist hertz but experimentally proved by the scientist einstein experimentally proved by the scientist einstein for that work for that experiment einstein got nobel prize nobel prize in the year of 1905 so and uh, see here uh, hertz was the first scientist to discover photoelectric effect who discovered photoelectric effect if it is your question your answer is hertz hendrich hertz hertz and other people okay hertz even in the year of 1887 he was doing an experiment about electromagnetic waves hertz was conducting an experiment about electromagnetic waves so see his experimental study was about uh, a what we say 
detection and the production of electromagnetic waves he was doing an experiment how to identify and how to produce em waves electromagnetic waves vidyut kampiya kiranagalu x kirana gamma kirana infrared rays ultraviolet rays visible light radio waves micro waves ivella enadava these are all these belongs to electromagnetic waves vidyut kampiya kiranagalu ಸೊ ಈ ವಿದ್ಯುತ್ ಕಾಂತಿಯ ಕಿರಣಗಳನ್ನು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಕಂಡುಹಿಡಿಯೋದು ಅವುಗಳನ್ನು ಹೆಂಗೆ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಹರಡ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಯೂಸ್ ಈ ಯೂಸ್ ಟೂ ಡಿವೈಸಸ್ ಟೂ ಡಿವೈಸಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಮಿಟಾರ್ ಬೇಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಮಿಟಾರ್ ಬೇಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ fall on the emitter plate see when it is these are the infrared and ultraviolet radiation when ultraviolet light rays uv light rays when ultraviolet radiations were made to incident on the emitter plate what a strange thing happened that a strange thing is that a strange thing is see here what is the strange thing happened here the strange thing is see first point is in high voltage sparks high voltage sparks were increased increased from the across the detector loop where enhanced when the emitter plate was illuminated by ultraviolet light so in a hertz experiment about electromagnetic waves that scientist used two devices one is emitter plate and another one is detector plate so he he passed or he made he, he see he made to fall ultraviolet radiation from the emitter plate so then uh, across the detector plate which is the another device 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 in that experiment across the detector plate there what increased sparks high voltage sparks are developed across the detector loop and uh, they 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 go on increase they, they are there effect was uh, increasing time increasing as the time is increasing See here what is the first point i wrote here high voltage sparks across the detector loop i wrote here detector plate but it is detector loop it is called detector loop they were increased what increased sparks high voltage spark gulu jaasti aagta hodu ante ille detector loop alli yavagandre when the emitter plate was illuminated illuminated andre adr mele band bidu thara madu when the emitter plate was illuminated by ultraviolet radiation from an arc lamp ultraviolet radiation na ಒಂದು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾವಯಲೆಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ನ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಅನ್ನುವ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ತಗೊಂಡು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅವರು ಎಮಿಟಾರ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರು ಇಲ್ಯುಮಿನೇಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಂತ ಬಂಕ್ ಬಿಡೋ ತರ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾವಯಲೆಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಎಮಿಟಾರ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಟಾರ್ ಲೂ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಟಾರ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಮಿಂಚು ಮಿಂಚು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಹೈ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಎನ್ಹ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಎನ್ಹ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗೋದು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಹೈ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸ್ಪಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವೇ ಎನ್ಹ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಟಾರ್ ಲೂ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಲ್ಯುಮಿನೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾವಯಲೆಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ವೈ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಡ್ ವೈ high voltage sparks were increased in it see when when ultraviolet radiation falls on the emitter plate the electrons near the emitter near the metal surface of the emitter plate 
ಆ ಒಂದು ಎಮಿಟಾರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ದೇ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ದೇ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ದೇ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ವೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಹಾ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಕೂಡಬಾರ್ದು ಐದು ನಿಮಿಷ ಕೂಡಬಾರ್ದು ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮುಗಿಸ್ ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಕೂಡ ದೇ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ದೇ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇನಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ವೈ ದಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಎಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಆನ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಿ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ last last class that when an electron tries to come out of if this is the atom and electrons the electrons are inside the atom when it tries to come out or leave the atom what what is happening here surface is developing a positive ion positive ion here surface develops positive ions and those positive ions are giving an attractive force for the electron which tries to move out of the atom so electron cannot move out of the atom because here the surface only providing an attractive force for the negatively charged body so surface is converting into positive ions as electrons are negatively charged particles so and when the surface converts into positive ions so what is happening positive ion and negative charges there exist a positive there exist an attractive force so electron cannot leave the atom electron stays in the atom only electron is staying in the atom only right so the second point see the second point when uv light when ultraviolet light falls on the emitter plate some electrons near the emitter plate near the surface they absorb they absorb required energy to overcome the attractive forces of the positive ions of the material of the surface so that they now they are free to move out of the atom they can easily come out of the atom because they absorbed the sufficient energy from the incident radiation iga now atom nalle yaaka atom nalle da andre one positive ions one force the attractive force ಈ ಒಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಬರೋದ್ರೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಬರೋದ್ರೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತಾ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ನಲ್ಲೇ ಒಂದು ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಪಾಸಿ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಅಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಅಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ನಡುವೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತದ ಒಂದು ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದಾಗಿ ಅವು ಬರಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯನೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು on the emitter plate from the ultraviolet radiation from the light the electrons gained the electrons they 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 gained they absorbed sufficient energy which is uh, uh, required for overcoming the attraction of the positive ions of the surface in the material positive ions in the material of the surface so third point is uh, usually now they are having sufficient energy and all the electrons see the electrons which absorbed the energy now they can easily come out of the surface and escape into the surrounding so after gaining the energy from the incident light the electrons escape from the surface of the metal into the surrounding space so these are known as hertz observations of photoelectric effect hertz observations of photoelectric effect hertz was the first scientist to tell about photoelectric effect and see accidentally by accidentally he discovered the phenomenon called photoelectric effect so when he was doing an experiment regarding electromagnetic waves by see by by mistake by mistake or by accident he came to know that high voltage sparks were enhanced when the emitter plate was illuminated by ultraviolet radiation 
एमिटार प्लेट में ले आओ द एक्सपेरिमेंटल इवेलेबल इवेलेबल डिवाइस है एमिटार प्लेट को डिटेक्टर लूप एमिटार प्लेट में ले अल्फा वेलेट रेडिएशन पास मारता है इधरो आओ द एक्सपेरिमेंट के सो ये ना बड़ी तो इंडिडेंट है ना ये वो स्पार्क्स पर आ गए तो बंद डिटेक्टर लूप आता सो हर स्टार्टेड the electrons of the emitter plate they they absorb energy enough energy from the light which is falling on the emitter plate and that energy is sufficient for the electrons to to overcome the attractive forces given by the positive ions of the material of the surface and the third point is said so by with this energy absorbed from the incident light now they are free to come out of the metal emitter plate very easily and they escapes into the surrounding space escapes into the surrounding space so this is about the third observations of photoelectric effect so in the next class i am going to tell you about the next lenard and harbach's observations of फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट होमवर्क में भी इंटरेस्ट है होमवर्क सी इन योर डेली असाइनमेंट्स होमवर्क को ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಕೂಡ ಅದನ್ನ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿ ನೋಡಿ ಒಂದು ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಕೂಡ ನಿಮಗೆ ಏನು ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಏನು ಹೋಮವರ್ಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ರಿಓಪನ್ ಆದ ನಂತರ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲರ ಅದನ್ನ ನನಗೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆಫಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಬರೆದು ನೀವು ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎರಡು ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ सो अदू नहीं बरदी अंदी भाला जन कल्दी नोट्स आने यार कल बरदी मो तोर्स पनीमेंट इतना दौड़ स्टूडेंट के सो ना कूड़ा मेन्शन मी ऐन असैनमेंट को क्वेश्चन प्लान को वर्क अब ना नोट्सल मेन्शन अब रेकॉर्डेड है स्वल्प नहीं असैनमेंट आदू बेग कंप्ली नईस्टे